Ministry of Education has this morning released admission letters for the, cabin, uh, for the candidates who sought their Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams last year. Our reporter Apache Kamimo joins us on phone from the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, where Education Cabinet Secretary Jacob Kaimeni made his remarks over this year's Form 1 selection. Patrick Kamimo, if you can hear me, just give us an update on what is happening there right now. And thank you, Ian. What is happening now is that uh, already the Principal Secretary for Education, uh, Dr. Belio Kipsang, is handing over letters to head uh, school, uh, school principals and head teachers of the various candidates or students who are selected to join the, their national schools. There are 103 national schools countrywide, and all the uh, principals and head teachers were here to, to receive these, uh, the names from the Ministry of Education, Ian. Well, Amimo, previously we've seen, especially uh, the private sector, complaining about uh, the selection process. Did the Cabinet Secretary talk about this, perhaps? Yeah, and the, 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 there are certain criteria that were set by the Ministry for the choice of students who are joining Form 1. And this was, one, based on merit. Also, the choice of students, the school they chose. There was also the issue of the quota system equity and affirmative action, especially from areas, those marginalized areas. And these ministry say these are the these are the these are the criteria that it chose when it came to selection of students. That's why like uh, the ministry notes that uh, there are certain schools that attracted a lot of a lot of applicants like Alliance Girls, Alliance Boys and Mamu High School, which had uh, applications of for more than 140,000 students are wishing to do these uh, schools. Uh, so out of, out of 103 national schools, you can imagine that uh, these uh, three schools are the most well, well put after by candidates. Now, the principal secretary did challenge uh, those uh, from the private schools to set up institutions, secondary schools, to also partner with the government in setting up secondary institutions. But those in the private sector that I did, uh, did talk to are uh, complaining that uh, the 15% quota that was given to private schools is like discriminating uh, students in, the, in, the, in, in, in private schools because they say in education there is no student who is either belongs to public school or private school. They want the, thing, the selection process to be done on equity. Yeah.